Christmas decorations may be come and gone, but the delays and cancellations remain up. A deal of some kind will surely be done this year, but until it emerges, passengers must face the possibility of yet more disruption coming down the tracks. Matthew Thompson, Sky News. Let's say Happy New Year to our political correspondent, Mario Aurora. It might, um, might, it might be all right for us at the moment, for, for people travelling. Uh, certainly this week, they've got yet uh, more disruption. Exactly. Uh, lots of disruption on the railways. We've got five days of strikes now. It's going to be obviously catastrophic to anyone trying to uh, move around the country this week. Now, interestingly, we've had uh, rail passengers advised not to use the railways unless it's you know, an emergency or something very serious. Obviously, for anyone who can work from home, that makes sense, but there are a lot of people who can't work from home and therefore it's just absolutely not feasible. And those are the kinds of people who are going to be very, very frustrated with the strikes this week. Um, now, politically, it's quite a tricky situation for the government and for Rishi Sunak. I think at the moment the government is very much adamant that they feel this is a fight that they can win when it comes to these trade strikes. They are aware that the public support is less behind uh, train workers than perhaps NHS workers, for instance. Although I would say, nonetheless, there is still quite robust support for train workers, nonetheless. The government are hoping that that support for training workers will dwindle and therefore if they just kind of keep this hardball uh, type of stance with the unions then potentially they can kind of grind them down. The issue here is if that doesn't work that could be a very politically dangerous position for Rishi Sunak to be in. Now if we report in the Times this morning that you know, government sources are saying that you know, they think that the, government, uh, the public are going to shun the railways uh, if this continues to happen, if people can't think that they can rely on the railways. I would say always a pinch of salt with those kinds of stories. Obviously, that's very much the government has a specific agenda when it comes to the strikes. But nonetheless, I think Rishi Sunak faces a choice where if he is seen to back down, if he is seen to be a bit more malleable when it comes to his negotiations, he could end up being characterised as weak and someone could be a bit pushed around. But nonetheless, if he doesn't budge, if he continues to kind of uh, ground his feet where he is, there could be a situation where the government is blamed for the chaos on the railways and the other strikes if it doesn't look like it's going anywhere and they're not making any progress. So they've got that balancing act uh, at the moment with the government, and I think it's going to be tricky. Now, Mark Harper, Transport Secretary, is going to be on Sky News uh, later this morning. Next, also going to be on Sky News. It'll be really interesting to see how much uh, the rhetoric is quite kind of fiery and explosive from them because they decide to dial it down. And their tone, I think, is one of those moments would be very interesting to watch. Yeah, OK, well, we'll uh, find out uh, very soon on that. Thank you for now, Marley. Um, so let's see.